Internet security agents say Iran's infrastructure, including its main nuclear power plant, is being targeted by a new and dangerously powerful cyber worm. The so-called Stuxnet worm is specifically designed, it seems, to infiltrate and sabotage real-world power plants and factories and refineries. Let's find out more about it. Jerry Egan is director of Symantec's Security Technology and Response Group, joining us now from CNN Los Angeles. Thanks so much for being with us. Worms and viruses are hardly unusual. What's so different and ominous about the one in Iran? Well, it's, it's not necessarily particular to Iran. I think what's unusual about this one is the level of sophistication that has gone into designing it. It used four previously unknown or undisclosed vulnerabilities in software, or in other words, bugs that allow an attacker to get into a system. Um, but more particularly, it required very specialized knowledge about both the Windows operating system, industrial controlled software, and the hardware behind it. So this is not something that the average you know, a hacker at home in a bedroom or a garage would have access to. Okay, since that's drawing your attention, let me ask you more about it. Who would know how to do this? Would it be um, criminals? Would it be um, some kind of hacker organization? Would it be governments? Um, you know, definitely people with um, you know, a technical background. From our analysis of the threat, it looks like a lot of uh, specialized skills were brought together. It was, it was highly organized. We reckon anywhere from five to ten people were behind this, and it took them you know, over sort of six months to engineer this kind of threat. Wow, this sounds like a real determined conspiracy or organization at work. Now, the other thing that draws our attention is, is the target. Uh, are they after money? Are they after creating disruption among ordinary computer users? What apparently are whoever's behind this trying to do? Well, it doesn't look like it's after, you know, just regular uh, annoyance or um, um, pilfering, if you like, of information on our regular computer users. Um, so th this threat was targeted towards the industrial control systems that are used to monitor, you know, processes inside factories or inside utility companies, you know, water treatment plants, uh, electric utilities. So it looks like they were after very specific actions um, the, the analysis that we've done of the threat so far is based on looking at the, 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 the technical aspects of this, these programmable logic controllers, but we don't have any insight into the hardware that was behind these controllers. So we know what the controllers can be used for, but we haven't seen yet any specific evidence of what this threat was actually intended to do. Okay, now, there's an elephant in the room. There's an obvious question I have to ask you. Iran is an emerging nuclear power. There are powerful nations who are nervous about this. Uh, could we be seeing a, a shot over the bow? Is that what this could be aimed at? Uh, we've definitely seen higher, much higher incidents of this threat in Iran, in Indonesia, in uh, India. Um, so that's where it looks like this threat has been concentrated so far. Um, but we, we don't yet know or, or, or haven't speculated on what it might be used for. Okay, fair enough. The mystery continues. Jerry Egan of Symantec, thanks very much. Thank you.